Your apology today is significant and you have apologised for the actions of governments and the harm they have caused and continue to cause Aboriginal children, families and communities across generations. An apology without action is not enough. The real test will come in the actions that you and your government take after today. Our children should be able to grow up healthy, happy, strong, connected, knowing their culture and who they are in themselves. But for thousands of our children involved in the child protection system, this is not the case. It's been heartbreaking over the past few months to sit in this room and in rooms across this state and hear story after story of how our child protection system is failing our Aboriginal children. We are here 26 years since the Bringing Them Home report and some 16 years after the Prime Minister's apology to the stolen generation. Seeing shameful child removal statistics that show things have gotten worse, that show that Victoria is removing children from Aboriginal families at the highest rate in this country. Every single statistic Every single number is a child removed from their parents. A child that is too often also removed from their siblings, their culture and their community. Victoria's child protection system is causing devastating long life impacts on our children, our families and our community. It is creating trauma that is passed on to future generations. We sometimes make the mistake of talking about the child protection system as if it's a thing that exists and runs itself. We need to remember that the laws, the policies and the decisions that make up this system are made by people. People charged with this power by the state. People like you who have the power and the responsibility to protect our children, our families and our culture. There are three things that every everyone who has come before us in this inquiry has agreed upon. The current system is failing Aboriginal children and families. It must urgently change. This change must involve self-determination for Aboriginal people. And when we talk about self-determination, we don't mean a tokenistic transfer of inadequate resources and limited authority within a failing system. We mean giving Aboriginal people genuine control of the issues that affect our lives. Giving us the power, the resources and the authority to design a system that enables our children and families to thrive. Minister, this is the action that must urgently follow this apology. <laughs>